just left the hostel. It was so sad to say goodbye to Joe. He's so nice. And I'm now in a grab taxi on my way to the bus station to wait for my bus to head back to Malacca. No, I'm in Malacca to head back to KL. I cut that a bit fine. Literally, we start boarding like now. <laughs> and I couldn't find my gate, but I'm here now. Gate C. As I came to leave the hostel, Joe was so sweet. It started raining. I don't know if you can still hear it now. And he's like, Malacca is crying because you are leaving. He's so sweet. Okay, my bag is on the bus. And I'm pretty sure this is me. Wow, these seats are really nice. They've got foot rests and everything. I think I might sleep well on this one. So I've just got off the bus and it was a really comfortable journey. And now I'm going to go and find transportation to get to my hostel, which is called Wacka Packers. So my lovely taxi man has dropped me off and I think I've made it to my accommodation, which is actually I think that sign there which says one stop residence and I think it's somewhere up there. So let's see if I can find it without getting lost. Up the spiral staircase and there is a shower and a toilet in there and I'm in room two. It's a huge room with lockers and they've actually put me on the top up there but this one's free as well so I've asked if I can change because I do tend to struggle with the stairs going up and down. If you don't ask, you don't get. I am now on the bottom bunk which is much better for me because going up those stairs Oh, yay. And this is my locker here. Okay, I found the shopping mall, but it's shut. It's like, it looks like there's just nothing here. I don't know whether I've come to the wrong place, but it does say that this is the shopping mall. I've just asked the security guard, where is the mall and where are the restaurants? And he went, no, mall is kaput. Mall is no more. There is nothing here. So the next four days I'm staying in an apartment and I chose it because it was close to a shopping mall and the shopping mall is kaput. It is no more. <laughs> My hostel is here and then if I spin round you can just see here I think possibly through there the towers so it is very central I just feel like I'm a little bit too far out and now I feel a bit sad that I've booked three nights here oh my word really do we really think that this is on the way to the MRT give me strength you've got to go up he says you've got to go up <laughs> it's like I'm walking around a derelict building. I mean, really, 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 really. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go up. Hey, hey. I found a sign. It's definitely right. Okay, it may not look like much, but I think I found it. How am I ever going to find my way back? Wow, this is a bit out of the way. On Thursday, I've got to get a flight. My flight takes off at 6 a.m. I have no idea whether I'm going to be able to get a train at that time, which means then my grab fare is going to be really expensive 
Why did I not book the later flight? I'll tell you why, because the earlier one was cheaper. And why is the early one cheaper? Because it costs you a fortune to get there. <laughs> oh, goodness. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous, wouldn't I? Well, this is definitely a train station. Whether or not it's open, whether or not any trains are actually... Oh, there's a train. Whoop, whoop. Right, okay. I think I'm on to a winner here. Right, okay. If you can see without the glare, I am here at Chang Sao Ling. So I've got to go to Machit Jamit and then to KL Central. Did you get that? Did you understand it? Chang Sao, Machit Jamit, KL Central. Easy as that. Okay, so the train will come from platform 2B. So the train that I just missed must have been the one that I needed. Okay. I found it. Here we go. I got myself in a right old muddle there. Suddenly started heading back the way I came. But thanks to very kind locals, I'm now on the right track. No idea where I'm gonna get back though. <laughs> so this is what I need to look for on the way back. So obviously platform one, and then I'm not even gonna to try to say it, that one. And I've got to head from KL Central, one, two, three stops and get off there, which is where I am now. Right, so I've just come down to the fast train to find out about timetable for Thursday going to Cambodia. The first train that goes in the morning is at 5 a.m. and the last train at night is 12 midnight. Well, my flight takes off at 6 a.m. So 5 a.m. is way too late to get the train and 12 midnight is too early. So it looks like I'm gonna to have to spend the money on a taxi to get to the airport on time. <laughs> I don't quite understand why they would have a fast train to the airport that's not available first thing in the morning. It just doesn't make sense. Okay, I made it back in one piece. Coming back was a lot easier. Didn't miss the station. Did exactly what it said on the box, what I should have done in the first place. I think I might just have been a numpty going out. <laughs> but I'm there. I've done more shopping. Oh well. And now I'm headed back for a shower and a bit of an early night, I think. Good morning everybody. Well, half past two in the morning. I'm just waiting for my grab taxi to take me to the airport. Boy, is it an early start, a late night, early morning. But hopefully this is my taxi just turning up now. So this is new. I've not had to do this before. I've had to go up through to a little machine and print my own baggage label. But then again, I suppose Actually, I don't normally have checked luggage. I managed to do it without getting in a muddle. Now we've got to go and put it on the self conveyor belt thingy. Oh, bye bye bag, off it goes. And I got the express as well, which was just literally a pound extra. So it should be one of the first 25 off the conveyor belt when I get back. Okay, I don't believe it. I've just done security. I didn't take 
my computer out. I didn't, I've got a whole bottle of water in my bag, which I was going to throw away. And they didn't ask me to take anything out. They didn't even look at the screen, to be honest, when I went past. Right, L5 I've got to find now. Okay, so this is where you take the laptop and get rid of the water. I thought it was a little strange. completely and utterly exhausted but I've made it back to CM Reap. I've just got to do the visa on arrival and security thing now so keep your fingers crossed for me. Well I don't believe it that was so easy and everyone was so kind so they've given me an e-visa I have no idea. I was told to get an O visa, but I've ended up with an E. I don't know what that means, but they said that I can extend it. So I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed.